Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are trying to create, like always, a very, a very natural, soft, everyday type of look using some new techniques that I found from a Mac Pro makeup artist. And this was the look I was try I was able to create today. And I'm thinking we nailed it. We nailed it. So if you want to see how I got this look, the products I used, the steps that I took, and all of that, make sure you keep on watching. But first, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you're notified when I post new videos because I post daily and you don't want to miss it. And I'm out of here. On to the video. Bye guys. All right, guys, let's get started. I'm gonna take my blur, 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 blur. <laughs> one size and NYX. So prime with today. I actually have a, okay, for the longest time, I've had a Rode mic on my Canon M50 and it would always play audio you know after I film a video the audio, the audio could always be heard on the left side and not so much on the right side and that's probably been like two year two maybe three years that's why I never really film on it so I was looking at a video the other day and the person said you know it's a difference between mono microphone and a stereo microphone a mono microphone is one-sided and then the stereo microphone is two-sided you know and he suggested a adapter a little small adapter it's like five or so dollars from amazon if you have a mono microphone with a road microphone the shotgun is a, a mono microphone so I hooked that adapter up to it and now today I just want to do a video with the camera to test it to see if the audio is better. I see both sides now like moving where before like one side would move. So we're going to see. <laughs> I love to find the answers to questions that I've been stuck on forever and hopefully this is the answer to the question because <laughs> the camera itself it shoots beautiful pictures the videos are beautiful and then but I could never get the audio right all right let's blend out this concealer underneath my eye it's just the LA girl fine And I use my new uh, About Face Eyebrow Pencil today. It just gives it a really natural brow, as you can see. And I got, I used it in the shade About Face. If you saw my, About Face, I used it in the shade Black Brown. So if you saw my haul, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to just take a little bit of this same concealer. Um, Dust it. We going for a natural look today, which every day is natural. I can't think of a day where I was like, I need to do like an extra glam video one day. Extra glam for no reason type video. And just push that in. Yeah. All right, let me grab some concealer. I'm back with this LA girl. 
have it. <laughs> I've been using it all week, so I did good. I'm going to take... They really don't have a lot of transition shades, in my opinion. So I'm going to mix these two brown and shades right here out of the transition area. And then I'm going to put this kind of gold something on the lid. I wish they had like a, a little deeper color. Or like one more transition color. But so far, like I said, I've been using it all week. And all week the color has been, you know, it's been nice. Just with a fluffy brush, just like a no name brush from Amazon or somewhere. And get that crease area and really good because we want it to look not put together. But put together at the same time because we gotta go to work. I keep saying I'm gonna go and get my eyebrows cleaned up, need to be cleaned up. But every time you know I go and tell them to clean it up, they take all of it off. <laughs> and I don't need thin brows, okay? They already thin enough. I need whatever little brow this this type this this eyeshadow palette is pigmented. I need all the brow I can get. I have the days of shaving my brows to. So, with like a piece of thread, right? Thick brows is in, thin brows is out. Okay. Yeah, this is one of my favorite little no name brushes. No, this is an AOA brush. From Shop Miss A, uh, E127. Shop Miss A. It's real fluffy. I told y'all Shop Miss A be doing it there. Matter of fact, take both of those shades and just go ahead and put it all over the lid. Because that way, I just remember this palette, like the glitter, it needs like a base. It's not like hard glitter shades. It's like more like a topper. Just to give it, you know, a little bit more something to, underneath it. Take a little bit of my NYX glitter glue as additional primer. This has been on my desk like religiously. And pack that everywhere that you're going to put the glitter shade down. I feel like the glitter glue is like really good for someone who's trying to create a cut crease without doing the concealer trick and all of that. And the Q-tip and the Vaseline. And I feel like the NYX glitter glue makes that so much easier for you if that's what you're trying to do, a glitter look. All right, I'm gonna take the shade I told y'all, the little glitter gold shade, and pat it, don't swipe it. Mm -hmm. If I would say this palette is $16, that's a lot for LA Girl, but would I repurchase it? Yes. I'm quite sure I have these colors already somewhere in my collection, but I don't have them all together. And for 
$16. I feel like this palette performs really well. The color so far, the colors that all the colors that I have used haven't disappointed me. So yeah. I'm all for it. As you can see. I didn't expect this. No way, no how. Let's mother brush it, y'all. I just had it. Like, right? come on. Be for real. It should be like right here. <laughs> it should be it should be like right here. Like I just used it. <laughs> I'm crazy. I gotta go to work and I'm sitting up here playing with y'all and I don't know where to brush it. That is so crazy. Okay. Well, whatever. If you wanna hide, then go ahead and hide. I ain't got time to look for you. All right, a little bit of liner, my new favorite essence liner. Lately, I've just been leaving in the clip of me doing this. At one point, I would have never left this clip in because it took me forever. But with this little marker thing, it doesn't take long. My lines are still not straight, but they're straight enough. My heart goes out to the people in the Maryland Bridge, that bridge that got hit by the vessel. And, you know, the people who lost their lives. My heart goes out to them. I am already, like, afraid of heights, 100% afraid of heights. And I have to go across a bridge every day, that type of bridge every day to get to work and every day <laughs> I hold my breath for the two minutes that it takes me to get across the ridge and say in a prayer or either I'm on the phone with mama or my cousin or somebody while I cross that bridge. I'm like, this is so stupid. <laughs> like, why would you put a bridge? I hate bridges. <laughs> I hate them. So my heart like when I saw that I like briefly looked at it and like briefly clicked off of it, I mean like really fast clicked off of it because I couldn't watch it because I would be so paranoid more than I already am with going across that bridge every day. So I pray for the families who have been affected and whew, yeah and I try not to, you know how like you be on the computer and like something will pop up and it's like oh how to plant strawberries. Okay, I clicked on that because I want to know how to plant strawberries, right? And then I'm going to put on some of my lip primer. And then it automatically goes to all the people who died in 2024. And it's like, why is this news? Like, news can be so depressing to me. So depressing. It's like, why is this news? You know, like... My family already has a hard time dealing with their loss and 
you get online and you see websites and stuff that only want to talk about death. Right? Go find something else to do. Don't let the people grieve in peace, will you? Okay. We're going to do concealer and powder today, I think. I'm going to take this e.l.f. Camo Ebony Rich Concealer and that's what we're going to use the contour with. We're going to underpaint, I think. I don't, I, know, I, don't, I don't know how to underpaint. I'm just doing what I do. Oh, got a piece of feather right there. And where you come from? Got the wrong side of the mirror. Like, you know. Yeah. It's underpaint a little bit. I don't think this is, you know, as deep. I just found it in my stash. I said, why not? It's almost spring break for the kids. And I can't wait because my son's spring break is my spring break. Because that means I don't have to get up early. <laughs> To make sure he's getting ready for school, take him to school, cook breakfast, cook dinner when I get home, you know, check homework. Like his break is most definitely my break. How does that look? That looks good. Okay. I haven't done a live in a minute. I need to get back to trying to do my lives to grow my channel. And I told my um friend at work, I'm like, I really need to get into short form content because that's where everything is. But when you like come from long form, it can be like really hard to transition, you know, to just try to incorporate some more short things because that's really initially how you grow your channel over here on YouTube. So I need to get into that. Okay, we're gonna take some of my First nude stick, nude eight concealer. Is it? Yes, yeah, a nude stick. At one time I thought it was saying nude fix, but it's nude stick. In nude eight, to highlight with. And. I was looking at another video from my MAC makeup. I like looking at MAC uh, beauty channel or whatever, or makeup artist or whatever. So she was like, when you put the concealer down, you're going to spray it and let it sit for like, well, I guess that's why some people do the fan method or whatever. I'm going to use this one and my, sorry y'all, they don't ever sit, no longer sell it. The four number 15 serum, bright future serum concealer. But um put it down and let it sit. I'm gonna take also take this around the mouth. So I'm going to spray with some of my NYX spray. And I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go throw on some lashes while that's sitting. And then we'll come back and blend it out. Okay. The person, this is my Timu Fancy Brush. I uh, blend it out with a brush versus a sponge. And I noticed that most like pro makeup artists they always use a brush before they use a sponge and this is kind of like a fluffy but not really it reminds you of like the uh Too Faced not Too Faced what's that thing called real techniques the Real Techniques 224 brush. Sorry, y'all. <sighs> I tell you, the palette out there is a working me. 
and it felt so good like yes was that yesterday yeah yesterday me and mom went to the store after i got off work and it felt so good so you know i was riding with the windows down and i paid for it last night like i paid for it i'm like oh my goodness okay so i'm just pressing it in not swiping make sure to like tap it in that was her suggestion to just tap 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 okay and hold on because i'm gonna see if i can like right quick because i don't have a lot of time to look for it if i find it then we're going to use it i'm gonna look one place my like my max skin middle line skin finish and then like a Sephora micro whatever it's called the micro foundation powder yeah i know okay I'll be back <laughs> Surprise, surprise, time was on my side. It was sitting right at the top. So these are mini powders I've got. Got the MAC. We know we're going to use that. Might use this. This is the Gold Deposit Highlighter by MAC. She used the highlighter. We're going to try it today. I'm going to link her thing down here too. This is number 60. What number is this? 66. That's crazy. Both of those can be deep, right? But it does look different. This looks lighter. And then this one is 65, which we're going to sit to the side. So for micro swim. So let's take 56 to four and set this because instead of using like a uh, like my Sasha Buttercup, like I normally would. She used, I think it was like a matte skin finish, like this, mineral light skin finish. Actually, she used two powders. <laughs> but we're not going there today. And I'm just setting the highlighted areas with this type of. which I think is so far like so far I'm thinking we own us up don't rush it Nana with the brush okay hold up okay I have never used this bronzer and it's the NARS bronzer in Punta Cana. The reason why I picked this up was because she used a bronzer and it wasn't like really deep how I normally bronze with. And this is one in my collection that I never pick up because it's not as deep. But we're going to try today. As you can see, it just gave a little sculptness to her face. But the end results, I should say, the end results was the makeup looked natural. And that's what we're going for. Because y'all know I can go real deep over here with this stuff. And I never picked this picked this up because I was like, oh, it don't sh it doesn't show on me. So it makes no sense for me to even try it. But as y'all can see, it's a brand new thing. And it was on sale somewhere. All right. Done, right? Then we'll take my Sephora in number 60, which is almost gone, which is my foundation shade. And we're going to put that all over the face once I grab a brush. Like all over the rest of the face. Oh, yeah. I'm going to use my MAC. This is my MAC Skin Finish and Dark Deep. I have a new one somewhere because y'all know this is the old packaging. She used this one, so we're going to use this one. 
Okay, she didn't do this. She used a shimmer blush and a matte blush, but because I don't have time to look for one, I'm just gonna use my Love by Rare Beauty, which I should have put on before I did all the powder, but I forgot. So we're gonna just hope that the blush don't affect me. Which it didn't feel good back on top of my powder brush to set the the blush. Since it's a liquid, whatever's left on this powder brush. Alright. Then go deposit. <laughs> if y'all know, y'all know. If you know my channel, here's my brush. Guys, look at I have put it back. My eyeshadow brush. But yeah, so I need to take a little tiny brush. And she will use highlight. Girl, I can't use no highlight now. You know I get nervous about highlight. Ooh, stop. Stop right there. Can y'all see it? Not really. Y'all can see it on this side. Cause I can see it. Y'all see that 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 highlight? Oh, I don't like highlight. <laughs> Let me do this. Okay, I'm gonna take my marshmallow spray in my X. And one of the main points she made was setting spray is important to set your makeup. That's the key to getting a very natural type look also. So spray. Let it sit while I go get dressed. Now I got 15 minutes and I'll be back. Okay, let's use some of this Sephora lip liner and molasses. This is something that I keep in my purse. Yeah, I know I really don't keep makeup in my purse, but this is a lip liner that I keep in my purse because it's retractable. You can roll it up and down, and you never know when you need a lip liner. Try not to be too heavy handed with this one because <laughs> it's dark. Oh, no. Yeah, it's dark enough. And then take some of my NYX Candy Swirl Butter Gloss. I don't know the name, y'all. I don't know about time, but that's how it looks. These are all the items from my purse. So, yeah, this is a natural lip combo for me. <laughs> natural, so just go with my powder brush and we are done. I think the look is very natural, as the MAC makeup artist stated. And the highlight is not scaring me away. So I need to try these techniques more often. Because I love a good natural looking makeup look. Yeah. I'm out of here. Drop down and let me know some of your tips. I know you guys have tips and tricks and all of that when applying makeup. So I'm always interested. Drop down and let me know. I'm so used to having a microphone on me and it's not on me. <laughs> uh, drop down and let me know what are some of your tricks that you use to create a very soft and natural everyday type of look. Because those are the looks that I'm into. And if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all later. Bye, guys.